for the last in our series, Reflections of Germany, which looks at how the country has changed in the 20 years since reunification. Today we visit the painter Daniel Richter. The fall of the Berlin Wall 20 years ago marked the end of an era. 1989 was also the end of an era for Daniel Richter. A punk living in a Hamburg squat, he decided to study art. Jörg Immendorf said that he painted to bring down the Berlin Wall. I started painting after the wall was gone. After it was gone, the wall in people's heads triggered my ambition to find a new direction. That's one of the reasons, obviously not just the fall of the wall. It was more the erosion of the status quo and our entire world order that got to people, including me. These days, Richter is one of Germany's foremost contemporary artists. He painted Dog Planet in 2002. With its reduced palette of red, blue and black, it's a sinister jumble of uniforms and bare teeth. These Alsatians look like they can't wait to be let loose. It's really a very simple painting. To me, it's about the status quo of what we call the Western world, or maybe even the entire globalized world. It's about our relationship to power, how anxieties and fantasies of omnipotence affect us, and how they have an actual embodiment, a man in uniform with an Alsatian. <laughs> Over three meters wide, the painting is steeped in aggressive energy. With its infrared effect, it could almost be a photograph taken by a night vision security camera. The masked men in uniform are sinister and threatening. This is an image straight out of the worst nightmares imaginable. Basically, a policeman is just a hooligan in a uniform. And depending on how authoritarian the world is in which you live and how marginalized you are within this world, the more unpredictable, dangerous and frightening that policeman can be. Obviously, a policeman represents something altogether different to a law-abiding citizen in a Mercedes from what he represents to a refugee from Ghana who is unfortunate enough to live near a port and unfortunate enough to be black and poor and who runs into this same policeman every day. No policeman is going to give him a respectful nod and wish him a good day. Richter doesn't paint fantasy worlds. He concentrates on reality as he sees it, depicting it as a collective experience. He said that he's interested in a hysterical, paranoid view of the world. What at first glance seems familiar turns out to be strange. That's because of what I think painting is basically about. I don't particularly want to be an apologist for my own work. But art and painting appeal to us because they're one way of conveying what can't be conveyed with language. I didn't call my painting, beware of the men with Alsatians, or be careful, people you can't make out in the dark might be bears, or monsters, or bad Max Ernst ripoffs. That would have been missing the point. And after all, it doesn't matter who the men in Dog Planet are. What matters is who they're looking at. And ultimately, that's the viewer. They're bearing down on us. In 2007, Richter was hoping to feature the painting in an exhibition, but its owner refused to lend it to him. So Richter painted it again. To me, it's like a cake recipe. You always think you can improve it by making it a bit more coarse. So Richter was free to exhibit his latest version of Dog Planet. It wasn't long before this too was sold. The former punk has been accepted by the establishment. Twenty years after the fall of the wall, does he feel Germany is better or worse? Richter says he doesn't think that question is worth answering. Then he answers it all the same. I think it's probably better, even though it's worse. People just know more. The political and ideological lies that people lived with in the post-war years have been more categorically undermined than they ever were before. I guess that's progress. 
But once a rebel, always a rebel. Richter has lost none of his outrage or energy. If he had, he'd probably have stopped painting long ago.